Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Today I am on 18W10B. They've added 3,072 different variants of Tropical Fish. Um, they've also added treasure maps, I'll get into that um, maybe another time. But I wanted to focus on this little thing. Geo Lowswith, among many other people in the live stream, sent me uh, this huge equation, which I inputted into Minecraft using this line of uh, command blocks. And I've successfully done it. So if you can see on the right sidebar, I've run a lot of operations which will essentially calculate the variance value. This is not that straightforward because uh, otherwise, if they were just, you know, 1 times 2 times 3, you're going to have a lot of numbers overlap and you don't want that. So it's something called bit shifting. I don't know much about it, but uh, I had to dumb it, I have it dumbed down for myself. So I'm going to let them fly around, not fly around, swim around. And uh, otherwise, you can just see uh, all the variants just fly through. Now, there are 3,072 different variants. What this means is if I'm running each one 20 times a second, this video will need to be at least two and a half minutes long, roughly three minutes to run through every single variant. So I'm going to make sure this video does last that long, and that will ensure that, uh, ensure that I do go through every variant in this video. So, uh, not much else to say, I do love this addition. This is probably why the Clownfish addition to the, uh, the system, the environment, was delayed, because they were actually doing this. Which is wonderful, because uh, what I thought was, if you had only four different types of fish, or four different species of fish, uh, swimming around underwater, it wouldn't be as colorful or vibrant as this. So now we have all of these different variants, and of course these fish are just uh, running through like a rainbow. Uh, and I don't know why they're trying to swim through there. It's a barrier. Um, otherwise, you can just see also the uh, underwater environment has changed substantially. We've got um, the kelp, we have the coral blocks, we have the coral. This is so good. Uh, the, the color contrast is exceptional. You have it on sand as well, so it's so bright. This is properly a color update, right? We had a color update a long time ago. This is what was needed, really. So, uh... I'm going to go through the command blocks, actually. I do not want to forget about these guys, and hopefully you guys can still see. Actually, it doesn't matter. You guys know what's going on now, okay? So, let's go through what the command blocks are doing, and I'll put the commands in the uh, description of the video, so you will have an idea of how to do this, and if you want to implement it into your own world, it's totally fine. So, uh, what's going on is I have to have a uh, different variant for shape, pattern, base color, and pattern color. And essentially what's happening is I am uh, running through each value one at a time and it adds one point to the next one. And that ensures that I go through every single different permutation. And if you think about it, if there are 16 values for one variable, I'm going to run through all 16, 0, 0, 0, and then 16, 1, 0, 0, 16, 2, 0, 0, and so on. And there are 3072, and I'll put the equation in the description. Thank you to GLO Swift for that. And then all, all of the gamut of commands of just running some mathematical operations, uh, multiplying a constant, adding all of them together, and that's essentially the value you get. And then I'm putting that value into the variant data, NVT, which is the one that controls what the fish look like. So hopefully that gives you an understanding of what I've done. Didn't take too long. Um, and otherwise, you can just listen to the beautiful ambience uh, that's been added. It's just so nice, and I didn't think they would actually do that. But, um, yeah, essentially the underwater feels like an underwater environment now. And this is my own fish tank. So, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Big thanks to everyone who helped me out. I did not have time to go through this during the live stream, as you guys may have seen. Um, that's not intentional. But, uh, now I've actually done it, and you can see every single variant that a tropical fish can take. And be that as it may, I didn't do it for the other fish. You can see that they act the same way. They're in groups schools of fish. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content and news updates. I'm going to go through the treasure stuff uh, maybe in the next video. Take care.